Let's make some Puerto Rican piñon, also wrongfully known as Puerto Rican pastelon. There is a slight difference between the both that I actually learned late in life. Let's see how it looks. Let's begin by heating one tablespoon of olive oil in a saucepan over medium high heat. Once the oil has reached temperature, we're going to add one cup of sofrito. This sofrito is a blend of onions, peppers, garlic, and cilantro. We are going to continue by adding two tablespoons of olives. I'm using olives that come pre-sliced with some peppers, but you can also use the full uh, olives if you want to. Then we're going to add one tablespoon of capers. We now proceed by adding one cup of tomato sauce. I will also be using a packet of sazon. This is the one with saffron to add a very nice deep color to this recipe. At about two minutes from stirring this mixture, then we're going to add our beef. I'm using two pounds of ground beef. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of white vinegar. This will add a very mild sour taste that blends beautifully with the sweetness of the plantains. At about 10 minutes of cooking the beef at medium high heat, this is how it looks. Now it's time to season with salt to taste. At about 25 to 30 minutes of cooking at medium high heat, we are done with the beef. Let's turn it off and move to the next step. We will need about four large ripe plantains for this recipe. The darker the skin, the better they are, the sweeter, better for this recipe. We need to start by slicing our plantains at about a quarter of an inch thick. For that, we can use a device like this, a mandolin, where we slice them and it makes them at a quarter of an inch perfectly, or we can do it by hand with a knife over a board. I'll leave you an example of how to do that. We need to cut the tips from the plantains and then cut the plantain in half. Then we're going to proceed to do an incision on the skin to, to remove all of it from the plantain. Now we need to cut in about a quarter of an inch thick pieces. Please be very careful, the plantain is very slippery. Quarter of an inch or thinner is ideal for this uh, recipe. With the plantains ready, we now turn our attention to a saucepan where we're going to add enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom of the saucepan. Once the oil is hot, it's time to add our plantains. We need to add them one by one and then manage it so that they, they turn golden brown on each side. We have to flip them over. Please make sure not to burn them out. Um, I want you to look here at the color that I'm using to turn them over to the next side. Sometimes you can turn them more than once till you reach that color that you're looking for. Please notice that you may have to add oil at, as this process goes on. Our plantains and beef are ready and now it's time to start putting together our piñon. I am using a baking pan of about seven and a half inches on this side and nine and a half on the other and about three inches deep. I am going to use some spray, um, baking spray so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and I start adding my plantain one by one to cover all the bottom of the saucepan or the baking pan. Our first layer of plantain is ready and now you can choose to start adding your ground beef but I usually like to put a very thin layer of cheese. I'm using a mixed cheese. This one is called Fiesta Mix. You can use whatever um, grated cheese you would like to use. Um, and again, we're gonna do a very thin layer. This helps keeps everything together. It's like glue. 
I want you to notice the thin layer of cheese that I added and also notice that I'm straining the beef or ground beef so that I don't get the bottom of my plate, plate flooded with meat juices. I added my first layer of beef of about half an inch thick and I pressed it down. Now I'm gonna be adding a second layer or thin layer of grated cheese. And now I'm adding my second layer of plantain. My second layer of plantain is done and now it's time to add more ground beef. Um, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna add about half an inch and press it down and follow up with another thin layer of my cheese, like so. And now it's time to add our third and last layer of plantain like I'm doing right here. Now that my third and last layer of plantain is ready, I'm gonna pour two beaten eggs over this layer. This egg is gonna work like glue to hold this together when you're cutting through it. Make sure to move the pan so that the egg spreads out all over this layer. You can now choose to add a last layer of cheese on top. Again, this is optional and it's of a personal choice. I personally do not like to put cheese on the last layer and now I'm ready to get this into my oven and I'm gonna cook for about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees in my oven after 25 minutes here we are ready we are now ready to start cutting our pinon and you can choose to cut in inches of like 2 by 2 3 by 3 4 by 4 depending on how many uh, pieces you want to get out of it um, but it you know in in reality usually the first piece is the most difficult to get out and it usually turns apart like this however at the end of the day what's really important is flavor and I assure you that we have all the great flavor that we're looking for in this pignon 